YouTube. Hey, I just came home from the local casino, trying my luck out there. Uh, if I didn't have to bring home a late lunch, early dinner, I would have came out $30 ahead. But I had to bring home lunch and dinner, so I ended up breaking even. Was this good, I guess. What do you guys think? Uh, I'll show you what we have, what I got for lunch. Angie will be home later. So we'll just show what we got for lunch. Uh, I got Angie something, I got me something. We'll see what it is. I ordered it from Coach's Corner. And that's where I showed you the, uh, on the previous time we did, the last time I was out there doing the, the $20 challenge. Uh, I didn't do the $20 challenge. I upped it to the $50 challenge. But uh, I ended up spending a little bit more than I wanted to, but then I found a couple of nice machines that paid me back everything I put in, and plus some. Like I said, if I didn't have to buy this, I'd be $30 ahead instead of breaking even. Right now, let's see what we're having. Let's see what we have under here. I think this is Angie's chicken tenders and fries, so that'd be hers. This is mine. It's a, whoa, wow, that's a big breaded tenderloin. And it's got pickles and everything with it, too. Yummy, yummy. Ooh, lettuce on the side and fries. So that's why I'm having a big breaded tenderloin. Sounds good. I'm going to go ahead and eat this. See, this is Angie. She'll have it later. I'll go ahead and eat mine. Yeah, I ran into an old friend of ours. We featured him here on the channel a few years ago. Uh, Pete, hello again. Uh, he asked if we were still doing YouTube. He goes, yep. He was at the casino. He does horse betting, uh, that too. So, actually, our casino is uh, it's now more of a complete casino with not just your, uh, some of your table games and slots, but they also have uh, off-track betting and uh, horse, uh, and sports betting now. So, uh, I guess a lot of ways to lose your money, I guess, <laughs> or win, depending if you do. Uh, like I said, I could have won today. Could have been $30 up if I didn't have to buy lunch. Could have been a lot more if I would have found the right machine a lot sooner. But I, I found those machines as a bailout. And that, so. Actually, I played some of the machines. There was a couple of machines I've been watching on YouTube uh, that they've been winning on. So I was lucky that our local casino had a couple of those, of those games. So I just gave it a try. And uh, guess what? I won <laughs> a little bit. Oh, I, I didn't, like I said, I didn't win a whole big. I just won back what I lost plus $30 profit, but then I used that $30 profit to buy for dinner. So technically, I broke even. But running to Pete uh, for the first time for a while, we had a nice long chat. Then I had to come home real quick. So, uh, yeah. But today's a nice day. I could have went to the riverfront and got the pizzas for Angie. But I didn't really want pizza. I just wanted something else. That pork tenderloin was good. I just got done eating that. Angie will come home, have her tenders. We'll see how she rates that. But she may have to nuke hers somewhat. But mine was okay. Uh, I could have ate it there at the uh, at, at over there at the casino. But I decided no, I'm going to take it to go. I just want to get out of there. I don't want to spend too much more money because. Uh, I got a big budget, gaming budget, uh, for uh, Las Vegas, uh, at least up to a thousand dollars. But that won't be until the final full day that we're there, and that. So we're we're good, uh, basically. Just had some fun. That's all I needed to do. Just go out, have some fun. It wasn't really a twenty dollars challenge. It ended up being a more than fifty dollars. I put fifty dollars in one machine, didn't turn out. I just took put fifty dollars in another machine, then I was able to win some went back what I lost uh, plus some so uh, that's what bought lunch and dinner but breaking even that's good I'll take that all the time but it was fun yeah, I'll just make this one more clip uh, then we'll see Angie a little bit a lot warmer day today last the way it was last two days last two days was cold wet even we were in the middle, now we're currently in the middle of our Memorial Day weekend weather is improving really good uh, tomorrow I don't know what we'll be doing tomorrow I think I'm gonna be staying home tomorrow I gotta do a couple of editing uh, I gotta do some editing uh, real quick and some other stuff I gotta do uh, technically 
And I think Monday I might head out uh, with you guys, but I don't know where. Buses are not running on, on Memorial Day, so there'll be no buses. So it's going to be mostly on foot. And that, so I don't know. Right now, I'm going to go take my nap. We'll see what Angie has to say when she gets home. Hello. Hello, YouTube. Well, that's why I brought you from the casino. Yay. I hope you like it, right? I will. Oh, you're going to put the plants back outside since the weather's getting nicer again? It's not supposed to be cold no more. That's good. Hey, I ran into Pete today. He said hi. Remember Pete from the ballpark? Yeah. Yeah, he said hi. He was betting on the horses down there. Uh-oh. Yeah, uh-oh. But he was on his own. But I won on a I won on a slot machine, but the problem is what profits I won paid for our lunch. Was Pete at the game last night? I didn't ask him that. Uh, I, I don't think a lot of people was. Because yeah. he ordered the cold weather. That's right. And I co ordered the cold weather. All right, see no you later. No more cold weather. Yeah, no more cold weather till uh, October, right? Yes. We'll see you a little bit. Well, how's your tenders? Excellent. Excellent, wonderful, fantastic, huh? Yes. Oh, you want to know what stop plays I played today? Yes. I played the quick hit. I did hit the mini jackpot, but wasn't much. Aww. Didn't do much on that one. But the mini jackpot was like just under $16. But then I was already uh, $20 in a hole there, so. But then I moved on to, uh, uh, I moved on to, uh, I found a machine called Buffalo. I did win a mini pot there. Yay! But I was all. Right, but then I was still in the hole, mm -hmm. somewhat. So I played another machine. Well, I had to withdraw some money because I was in the hole, so I would do some money. So I got to make sure I replace some of that money. So, but I did win a mini jackpot on Buffalo. Then I went to another machine. Then I won money there. But then I made up what I withdrew. Then I went back found another Buffalo machine. Then I won over a hundred bucks there. So that basically won back what I withdrew, uh, basically. Yay! So I broke even so I could put the money back in the bank on Monday, possibly, right? Well, ATM uh, deposit because the bank's closed. Yep. And that. So I can do that on Monday. Because he's, otherwise... he's going to the ball game on Monday. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to the ball game on Monday. And that's I haven't it. been yet. Actually, what I'll do, I'll just keep some of that money out. Just deposit part of it back in and just keep the money out for the ball games. I haven't been yet. I know you haven't been yet. I'll be there before you. <laughs> I'm going sometime in June, okay. guys. All right. I'm going to wrap up this video when I get home. I'll see you in the morning. Guys. Yes. Good night, YouTube. Good night, YouTube. See you later, right? Yep. Unless you stay up. Mm, doubt it. You guys, Chuck was looking for this. Well... I found it and it's not nighttime yet. I'm trying to f look for other things. We'll see on the. Yeah, sorry. I'm trying to find other things and I'll see you on the next clip. Good night, YouTube. Because we'll see Chuck on the next clip. Oh, not bad an evening we had so far. Kind of quiet night here, but. I'm about ready to go to bed. Okay, uh, like I said uh, earlier, I know we went to the casino. Uh, usually, casinos are usually is a form of entertainment. Uh, just be it entertainment. It's your final cost of entertainment. So if you put a, a dollar in the slot machine and lose your dollar, that's just like playing a dollar lottery ticket. It's your cost of entertainment, uh, basically. If you lose, let's say, 50, 60 bucks in a slot machine, that's your cost of entertainment. Uh, if you end up losing a couple thousand dollars, let's say, at a, at a blackjack or a craps game or, or more slots, that's your cost of entertainment. But here's a problem. Uh, I know way too many people that uh, is behind on rent, cannot pay their light bills or water bills, have, can't put food on the table, or... or having their credit cards maxed out because of their gaming problems. So basically it comes down to is this. If you cannot afford to play, don't play. Uh, 
It's that simple. If you got a gambling problem, there's always help. There's a phone number in your local state that will help you with your gambling problem. Right now, basically, I very rarely go to casinos. This is our second time I went to the casino in about a couple, uh, a few, about a month, like a month or so. Because the last time we went on the casino, we did a $20 challenge. And we only put 20 bucks in the slot machine, boom. Now today I spent a little bit more, but then I found a couple of machines that luckily it paid back uh, then some. Uh, if I didn't have to buy lunch, I would have came out $30 a head. But it's still my form of entertainment. But hey, uh, we're going to Vegas. I got a thousand dollar budget, but it's not going to be spent until the last day of Vegas because we got a lot of sightseeing to do uh, as soon as we arrive. It's mostly sightseeing, uh, fine dining, and some other stuff we'll be doing in Vegas. Our gaming will not happen until the last full day at Vegas, and we'll finish up our video. Somewhere on Fremont Street Experience, uh, basically. We're going to start out the video, uh, our Vegas trip, at, on Fremont. Anyway, so we're going to end our vacation on Fremont. <coughs> but I just can't wait for the trip going through the Rocky Mountains. But yeah, uh, we usually have a tight budget on the gaming because we got to have money to get home on. That is the main thing, especially when you go gambling out of town. Especially Las Vegas, Atlantic City, Biloxi, even up in up in Minnesota last year. Uh, if, remember, we went to Jackpot Junction. We only we didn't spend a whole lot, but we only won enough. Uh, it only covered the cost of the trip going up there too. So, yeah, it's your cost of entertainment. If you win a little extra, hey, uh, take it out and enjoy it on something else. They, just take it out and enjoy it on something else. And then if you're lucky to win, if not. Hey, it's your cost of entertainment, but be smart at it. Just because I may want a little money, don't be like monkey see, monkey do. Go run into your local casino and you pump in your whole bank account and you lost everything. Uh, we don't advocate that. We never advocate that. Uh, we only play what we can afford and we really, very rarely play. I used to play all the time, almost every week at when it was, at the, was on the river. But I realized it cost us too much money. Um, we could use that money for something else. And look at when we don't spend on that casinos. Look at horse betting. I look at my horse betting. I don't bet on the horses every weekend or every day. I only bet on it when I feel like it. Uh, that's probably a good way to do it. When you play the lottery, play it when you feel like it. Uh, just don't go overboard. And you know, like I said, don't go overboard. For that so. Like I say, if you do have a problem with your gambling, uh, just always there's a phone number and that. I know a lot of people say, well, Chuck, why are you talking about gambling problem? Why are you about your drinking problem? Well, I got a news flash. I haven't touched a beer in about three days. I might be having some withdrawals now, which is good in that. So, yeah. So, I'm feeling a lot better about it. So, maybe I should cut back. But I got to use up all those tickets, too, at the same time. Okay. Uh, right now, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Uh, yeah, be smart, be wise. If you can't afford it, don't play, they say. Alright, we're out of here. Please like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe button, notification bell. Hey, I got a special announcement tomorrow. It's going to concern Angie and I. Okay. We'll see you guys later.